Uh, just a couple tips with that last uh, little sequence is make sure you're always spinning, squeezing those fingers and make sure you're spinning more on this part that you're not um, gripping that saber like this. It's more rifle. You want to make sure you're really spinning more in here and really pinching that saber using these fingers um, as you spin. Um, that's going to keep the blade from twisting. You don't want it to twist. You want it to slice. Like I like to say, you like want to cut through the butter. You don't want to slap the butter. So you want to make sure you're cutting through at all times, that it's here versus there. So that's going to help with that pinch. So make sure as you place, it is very flat. And when you come up, you keep it flat as you release that. Uh, if you come up at an angle, it's going to end up releasing the same way. So make sure you're up and you're going flat. And that way it's also not twisting in there. If you do anything weird with your wrist, it's going to have a tendency to do this little twisty motion in the air. So really just paying attention to those things. And then as you're going to catch, making sure you're keeping that nice and flat. So here's what, something that we can add on to this uh, that'll be in some of the other videos is after we do this around, up, catch, here, instead of coming here, as you catch it and bring it down, you would bring it then down instead of bringing it here. Instead of doing this, you're going to bring it down, grab here, almost like a money hand grab, and then you're going to lean away from it at a 45, so this is going to be on the 45, you're going to let it fall and be flat. We'll have another video breaking this down. Um, flat, really have that wrist turned over. Carve, lower carve, so it'll look like this, but to the back. So we went up, carve, and then you're going to release. When you release this, it's very critical. Again, just like with everything else, it's not twisting in the air, so make sure it's here on the release and not here. So here, release. It might twist a little bit that time. Catch. Um, you can do this at any height, but right now we're going to catch here. So you're going to catch tip, uh, my saber is a little funky, so you'll notice that my tip is kind of broken down, so the tip's really here. So you're here, here, and we could be going on to another sequence from there. So, alright, uh, so here is the one-handed 45 on the left. We also have a rifle video on this as well, so it's basically the same exact thing, it's just you want to make sure the blade's not twisting. And then make sure you're releasing to the correct angles, um, and spinning to the correct angles. So it goes 45 back, releasing to a 45, twisting underneath it, and catching to the front. So, so just to start that, we'll start here, just when you're practicing it, and then pull to that 45. So go 45, back, release, catch. So 45, back, release, catch. That was a little over for me. So 45, back, release, catch. So with that, you want to kind of open. So notice how as this comes down, as I'm pushing it away, I'm going in open with my arm. My arm's coming flat. As it goes flat, it stays down. I release and then I go up for the catch. So you kind of back away from this for a little more drama to the opening. So going like a back away and release. So, so adding a little bit more drama, you can back away. So go back away, release, catch. Uh, from here you can go into a lot of different things. We're probably going to go into with a little sequence later on the videos is a little lift into a little there. So 